Honda's new battery packs can power your scooter or your home. Hey there, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric vehicles. If you're as pumped about the future of transportation as we are, then you've come to the right place. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips on all things EV. But before we dive into the electric goodness, we need your help to keep our battery charged. So, if you enjoy what you see, give that subscribe button a little love, hit the like button to show your support, and drop us a comment with your thoughts or questions. We promise, we read every single one of them. Meet the Honda PowerPod E. Do you remember the Honda Mobile PowerPack E? Sure, the name might be cumbersome, but at some point, we just have to accept that Honda likes sticking an E at the end of all of its most recent things involving electricity. If you've been around for a minute, it's kind of like how everyone had to make a big deal about moving from carburation to fuel injection by sticking an IE or an I at the end of a model name when the technology was not yet the norm. Then eventually, that got phased out and it just became the way things were. Anyway, back to Honda and its swappable electric battery packs. Over the past few years, the company has systematically been building out an ecosystem of things that make use of the little packs. First and foremost, as far as Ride Apart is concerned, there's the triumvirate of electric two- and three-wheel delivery vehicles, the Benley E, Euro E, and Euro Canopy E. Pretty early on, Honda also began cooperating with other companies on other things that could potentially utilize the Honda Mobile Power Pack E, such as light construction equipment from Komatsu. It's also been used to power tourist boats. Now that it's July 2024, Honda just introduced the latest piece of its electric puzzle in Japan. It's called the Honda PowerPod E, and it's essentially an all-electric one, 500W generator. Using the Honda Mobile PowerPack E, the PowerPod E can charge all your devices in the event of an emergency or if you're just at a remote work site. It's also modular, so you can use special parallel cables to operate more than one together. Importantly, it's also rated to work with several widely available solar panels so you can potentially keep generating and storing power as long as you have access to sunlight. You can use this to charge your mobile power pack E, units for use in any vehicles you need them for, as well as keeping the power pod E, running to charge your other electric devices, from computers to smartphones to a whole range of things. So far, it's only available in Japan, but given Honda's plans for decarbonization as a company, it seems pretty inevitable that it will eventually be released elsewhere as well. As and when that happens, we'll be sure to keep you updated. And that's a wrap for today's episode of EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun as we did exploring the world of electric vehicles. Remember, your likes, subscribes, and comments are the sparks that keep our motor running. If you're feeling extra generous, consider using the Super Thanks feature to support us. Your contributions help us improve and bring you even more amazing content. So, click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.